A very good afternoon to one and all present here. I take immense pleasure in welcoming our chief guest of today's session, Dr. G. Putlibai, Professor of Chemistry, Coordinator of IPR Cell, MOES, IAC Innovation Ambassador. She has more than 25 years of teaching experience and she is a membership she has many membership in professional bodies such as LMIST, LMR, LMR SES, FIF, ERP, MIF, ERP and she has many achievements including uh, more than 25 patents published, granted and filed and also she is a college topper in UG level and she holds university rank in PG level. And she is the reviewer in many journal and as well as top leading book. And she is a chair person in international level conferences and symposiums, science exhibitions several times. And her publication includes more than 45, including international and national proceedings. And she also uh, has given her keynote speech as a resource person in more than 22 programs. She also organized number of national programs, both in the college level. And also she has attended more than 95 FTP STTP, STT workshop, seminar, conference, and symposiums. She also completed online courses, more than 121 courses, and she has published more than four books. Not, but not the least, she's the right person for today's session. I also request Dr. Putribai, ma'am, to take up the session. Ma'am, so the much session much is yours, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is it audible? Audible only. Slight can disturbance in the network, it seems. Can I introduce you? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. 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 The opportunity to share my knowledge on intellectual property rights and IP management for uh, startups. And I also thank the uh, SEC IAC Innovation Activity Coordinator, uh, Dr. K. Ranganathan, for uh, arranging this uh, webinar. Uh, let me share my screen. So my screen is visible, I hope. So any one of you yes, can ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma uh, ma my voice is, is also ma audible. Yes, ma'am. Voice is audible, ma'am. So okay, if any technical uh, uh, flaw in between, either in the voice or in the sharing of screen, screens, uh, uh, you can stop me at any point of time. So today's sure, topic sure. is... Uh, Okay, sir. Uh, intellectual property rights and IP management for a startup. So today's scenario uh, regarding uh, IP intellectual property and its importance in startups is, is too little, too late also. Uh, today's agenda is uh, IP as a source of innovation, a bit about the process, how to search and read patents, Integrating intellectual property in the business plan and strategy, identifying, protecting, developing, managing, and auditing IP assets, strategic development of IP portfolio. So these are the today's agenda. So first of all, I uh, have to understand that uh, why we have to protect uh, our intellectual property. 
so we have to know our rights so from this simple example i can make you to understand so why we have to protect the intellectual property so everybody can understand that uh, the ring pull technology for uh, opening the uh, beverage cans and which is uh, licensed and used by more than uh, 90% of the uh, world's market and 160 million cans opened per day and the royalty per unit is we are one that is 0.1 penny so uh, as a whole uh, uh, so that is uh, the overall uh, the royalty the person who uh, who protected his invention by this uh, uh, intellectual property is uh, getting more than 1 crore per day so from this we can understand it's a very simple technology and uh, uh, for this technology even we need not to uh, learn uh, uh, too much or too many uh, uh, techniques or the uh, uh, that is innovations so from this simple technology so since the person is protected his intellectual property and today he is earning more than per 1 uh, crore per day so from this we can understand that why we have to protect our intellectual property so intellectual property is a type of intangible property like how tangible properties are protected some of the examples of uh, tangible properties are houses two wheeler four wheeler so how we are protecting so by registering with our name similarly if we find out any of the intellectual property we how to register with our name so here i'll give some of the components or the examples of intellectual property intellectual property may be broadly classified into two types one is industrial property the other one is copyright related properties industrial property which includes patents designs trademarks service marks trade secrets gis layout design of semiconductor ics plant varieties and farmers rights so these are all some of the uh, types of intellectual property so among the properties patents designs trademarks trade secrets plays a major role in almost all the uh, innovations and these are some of the acts or legislations related to each and every intellectual property components the patents acts 1970 the trademarks act 1999 the copyright related act which is uh, implemented in the year 1957 the design act 2000 uh, the protection of plant varieties and farmers rights act 2001 and the semiconductor integrated circuits layout design act which is implemented in the year 2000 the gi of goods registration and protection act 1999 and which includes biological diversity also if our invention is related to biodiversity then we have to get the ethical clearance from the biodiversity for that this law is uh, implemented and the law which is related to uh, trade secrets so now let me explain each and every components of uh, uh, intellectual property briefly let me start with the patents so what is patent so patent is a statutory right to the inventor or the applicant by the government for his invention which is either a process or a product so the patent will be granted for the novel or new process or the product and it has only the limited period of time so we can protect only up to 20 years from the date of filing and it will be granted in lieu of uh, submitting the sufficient disclosures to the patent offices it is only territorial so territorial means if we file a patent in indian patent office and we can claim that uh, we can protect our intellectual property only within india and what are the patent rights we have so we can protect from the third party authorization or stealing we can make or we can manufacture we can use we can offering for sale we can sell import distribute and we can give a licensing so these are all the rights we have once we get the grant so once we get the grant we are the only monopoly owner of the product or the process so these are all some of the patentable subject matter 
so any article any apparatus machinery or its components so any products or pharmaceutical products so any composition of uh, matter so any manufacturing articles so these are all some of the patentable items so non patentable items so we have uh, uh, it's a lengthy list so before uh, filing patent or before think it over of uh, filing of patent we have to check whether it comes under this category if it comes under this category then which is not patentable so any natural laws so any public order mortality or mere scientific principles or abstract theory new forms of known substances new properties of known substances so method of treatment plant and animal parts except microorganisms business method or method of agriculture method of playing game then copyrightable products literary work grammatic work it is not patentable but it can be copyrighted computer programming per se so mere computer programming is not patentable but if it is integrated integrated with any hardware or components then it is uh, patentable uh, rearrangement mere rearrangement of uh, known devices any omitted things simply the admixture of substances or mere presentation of informations presentation of information is again uh, it is not patentable but it can be copyrighted then topography of uh, integrated circuits we are traditional knowledge these are all some of the non patentable items so what are the basic criteria of patentability there are uh, three criteria novelty non obviousness and industrial applications so what is novelty novelty means it should be new it should not be published either in india or elsewhere it should not be in the use it should not be in the it, it should not not only in uh, say for example if you file a patent in india so while searching the patent office during the examination they will search worldwide so that's what we used to say prayer art so in the prayer art search so it will not uh, it will not be used or it will not be published anywhere in the world but if we file a patent in india so we can protect our intellectual property only within india so okay, it should not be claimed anywhere in any part and it should be inventive inventive means it should have or it should be involved some technical advances or economic significance or both so some sort of technical advancements should be there or economically it should be benefited or it should have both and simply it should not make the invention not obvious to a person skilled in the art and the third criteria is industrial applications so uh, it is very difficult to fulfill the first criteria that is a novelty and the second and third criteria somehow we can fulfill so we have to concentrate the first criteria and next is the filing of the applications so there are two types of filing physical filing and online filing so these are the patent offices where to file the patent applications say there at chennai office or mumbai or delhi or calcutta so since we belongs to chennai so these are the territorial jurisdictions that is the states of andhra pradesh karnataka kerala tamil nadu and the union territories of uh, pondicherry or lakshadweep so from these uh, uh, territorial regions the persons can file only at uh, chennai and similarly for each and every patent offices there is a uh, set of uh, uh, native places that is uh, territorial jurisdictions and the rest of uh, places the rest of india can file at uh, headquarter at uh, kolkata and these are the uh, essential ingredients so that is uh, the format of uh, patent drafting starting from the title and preamble prayer art that is existing literature drawbacks in the prayer art then the efforts or solutions to the uh, drawbacks then summary of the invention a statement of invention a detailed description of the invention under this heading uh, whatever the subheadings uh, 
uh, we want we can give accordingly we can uh, elaborate the specification and then the detailed descriptions with reference to the drawings so drawings we have to submit separately but along with the specifications we can give only the description of the drawings is there any examples we can give and at last claims claims is the most important part of the patent uh, writing and finally after the examination the grant will be issued for the claims based on the claims and at last we have to submit the abstract also uh, from this uh, bar chart we can understand that uh, uh, what is the status of uh, uh, number of patent filing so from this we can understand that is in terms of number of uh, a patent filing china tops the place and uh, its contribution is 1.5 million patent filing and in terms of percentage it is 11.6 and if we try to find out our india somewhere in the seventh position we are and our uh, number of patent filing is uh, 50055 and its contribution is a 7.5 percentage and uh, we uh, came to know from the patent office uh, that in the last few years last two years even we can say in the last five years the number of patent filing is increasing increasing tremendously in the indian patent office and at the same time more than 80 percentage of the patent filing is from the abroad nationals <clears throat> these are the documents uh, we have to uh, submit at the time of uh, uh, disclosing our invention at the patent offices one is a form 1 then form 2 form 3 form 5 and form 18 if we file through the patent attorney we have to uh, file pet fa form 26 that is power of attorney and if we want to have a yearly publication we have to file form 9 along with the covering letter this is what the patent filing fee the patent filing fee is uh, divided into three categories one is natural person the other one is uh, msme type small scale industry and the third one is uh, large scale industry so okay so accordingly the fees will be increased so the initial fees is uh, 1600 if you file as a natural person if it is small scale industry it is 4000 and if it is large scale industry it is 8000 so accordingly for each and every uh, form the fees will be if we file the uh, this is what the fee for the uh, physical filing if we file online then the 10 percentage of the extra fee we have to pay and this is what the uh, indian uh, patent published page this is one of my uh, uh, patent filing for one of my invention and for the same i received the patent grant and the patent grant certificate will be like this and this is what the simple graphical representation of the patent granting procedure so the first stage is the patent filing filing of patent applications and next is publication stage if we give a yearly publication immediately it will be published otherwise it will take 18 months and then it will go for the examination if we file form 18 along with the necessary fees and then it will go for the granting procedure and before and after the examination there will be a opposition so after the publication uh, any of the public if they want they can oppose and they can get the clarification and even after the grant of uh, patent also there is a possibility of opposition so this is what the uh, indian patent uh, prosecution procedure it start from the filing of applications filing of applications of uh, two types one is uh, filing with the provisional specification the other one is with complete specifications so why we have to do complete specification or provisional specifications if our invention is completely ready then we can straight away go for a complete specification or if our research work or the invention is uh, incomplete and at the same time if we want to protect your uh, uh, invention or the innovation in the earliest possible date then we can go for a provisional application so for that you can submit only form 1 with the minimum disclosures and within 12 months period we have to submit the 
complete specifications with all the necessary disclosures if not automatically it will be abandoned without any intimation otherwise if we submit within the 12 months period then it will go for a publication process and after the publication there will be examination and as i said already before and after the examination there will be a opposition and based on the examination there will be a issue of fer fer called first examination report uh, it is nothing but the reviewers report in the uh, journal writing and based on the queries raised by the controller of examinations in the form of fer so we have to amend the uh, queries Uh, within uh, six months, so now the period is reduced into six months. Earlier it was twelve uh, months. Then, based on the FER amended, again it will go for examination. If the controller of examination satisfies, then he or she will grant a patent. Otherwise, again he will raise uh, clarifications in the form of FER second examination report. And based on that, again we have to file. and again it will go for examination okay again uh, if the controller satisfies will be granted otherwise it will be disposed or abandoned without any intimation and always before filing a patent we have to do the prior art search so prior art search uh, there are two types of uh, literature one is patent literature the other one is non patent literature Okay, and the best platform is uh, uh, the Google uh, patents. So, or we can uh, depend eSpace.net or IPO. That is the Indian Patent Office website is www.ipindia.nac.in or freepatentsonline.com. Say so for example, so if we want to search uh, the free patents online.com so if you type in the google search that is free patents online.com this page will be open and as usual there is a search page so accordingly you can give your keyword keywords say for example audio signal processing semiconductor so okay if you click so i suppose if your uh, area of interest is uh, so this area so you can click accordingly so you will get the search reports and based on again you will be getting a uh, n number of results and further you can refine your uh, results by giving the further keywords it's okay so after uh, doing the thorough prior art search so if you start draft the patents then it will be uh, very much easy and uh, will be getting a uh, granted so from the prior art search we can understand that in each and every field say for example in your field of interest up to what level so what are the uh, thrust areas the research is going on so what's your interest so in what way you have to proceed so what is the new findings or the novel work you can uh, uh, create with that that you can understand better so we have to do the thorough patent search uh, that is what a prior art search and based on that we have to conclude that or we have to frame our uh, objectives and the principles the google patent itself which covers nearly uh, uh, 17 countries patent office sites so if you want to have a one point patent search better we can go for a uh, google patents even advanced google patents and while doing the see from if we start from the prior art search then it is almost uh, uh, nothing but a reverse engineering strategy so here we have to find out the Uh, uh the problem that is socially relevant problem so for a real time problem if you try to find out a solution and if you start from the prior art search then definitely it will be end up with a successful product 
and based on that you can uh, start a startup and you can uh, further proceed and you will become an entrepreneur so the other ips are industrial designs trademarks copyrights related rights dis and plant varieties so industrial designs uh, the industrial designs is uh, registered uh, for its ornamental or aesthetic appearance or the aspects of a useful article for its shape pattern and color combination it must have a visual appearance or appealing and articles must be reproducible by industrial means so if it satisfies then we can apply for a industrial design so these are all some of the examples of industrial design and this is what the design certificate and this is one of my uh, uh, design patent certificate for my design registration and this is for a biodegradable lightweight utility container and the next component is a trademarks trademark is also an intellectual property uh, which is granted by a government to an individual business or a legal entity that creates and uses a distinctive word name symbol or device to distinguish its products or services from those from any other entity in the market so everybody can understand what is trademark uh, generally the trademark will be represented either by using the letter tm or by using letter r in circle this is some of the examples to understand the trademarks here uh, the pizza corner so the pizza corner that is uh, the color the, the shape of the letter if it is written like this and then immediately we can understand that it's pizza corner similarly coca cola company and these are uh, some more examples to understand the trademarks so copyright and the trademark uh, so generally so there are two ways of representation so okay trademarks tm and r so tm is generally which is registered uh, based on the uh, uspto with the complete registration if it is mentioned as r it is under process not at completed then the copyright it is also an intellectual property granted by a government to the author of an original literacy dramatic musical artistic or other eligible creative work and this is a copyright so copyright is for either literary works or artistic works or electronic databases or computer programming so some of the literary works story plays poem novel letter so instruction manuals published edition of works given uh, books or photographs so these are all uh, comes under uh, literary work and uh, it can be copyrighted so this is what already i said no this is uh, the proper trademark usage and the sm if it is written we can understand that it is unregistered it is uh, under uh, uh, pending and generally uh, this uh, uh, letter sm is used for service mark and next is uh, geographical indications ga and uh, which is mainly uh, uh, granted uh, to identify a good as originating in the territory or region or locality where a given quality or reputation or other characteristics of the good is attributed to the geographical origin so any species if it is identified as only in a particular jurisdiction then we can say that it's a ga of that particular place and some of the examples champan darjeeling tea alfonso mango <coughs> uh, similarly so we can have the other uh, intellectual property that is uh, plant varieties protection so nowadays uh, uh, so this is one of the most important part so we have to protect our uh, uh, plant varieties so uh, uh, in future that is the wealth of the nation is based on the agriculture or based on the plant production and the last one is uh, traditional knowledge so traditional knowledge also can be protected and it can be protected only in the uh, patent offices now sometimes uh, uh, 
some uh, traditional things which will not be uh, which which will uh, which we we were not aware and because of uh, uh, sometimes uh, so since it is uh, protected only within the patent office sometimes uh, uh, this uh, traditional knowledge may not be revealed to the foreign countries that way only uh, uh, some of our uh, uh, traditional knowledge is uh, patented by the foreigners and from this product we can understand uh, that is uh, uh, we can understand the various intellectual properties so this uh, camera contains uh, uh, four intellectual property here one is patent for its for its uh, mechanism of the technology used and the trademark is for the letters the uh, shape and color of the letter used and this is for the design of the camera and the instruction manual is for copyright and from this uh, chart we can understand or we can compare the various uh, uh, components of or the important components of uh, iprs patents industrial designs and copyrights so what can be patented or protected under patents technical enhancements it should be novel unique and useful in industrial designs it should have novel ornamental or aesthetic appearance of any article and copyright is literary object namely artwork poetry films books music photography and duration and region of protection for patents it is 20 years from the date of filing for industrial designs it is 10 years from the day of filing but it can be extended patents cannot be extended and to maintain its rights we have to pay the annual fee for the 20 years right from the date of filing but for industrial uh, designs it can be protected without paying any maintenance fee up to 10 years and if we want to extend we can renew for next 5 years and no fee required for a registration for copyrights and its validity is lifetime of the creator plus 60 years 60 years after the lifetime of the creator so when to apply the patents before launching the product into the market industrial designs also then the copyrights can apply at any point of time and next is uh, government of india's national policy on iprs which is implemented in the year 2016 and based on that the national policy of ipr 2016 so there are uh, uh, some policies creative india innovative india so under this uh, make in india digital india smart cities and uh, skilled indias so here based on the make in india so nowadays uh, there is a startup uh, here the intellectual property strategies related to startups so to understand this uh, make in india and how to register the startup uh, so we can have a, a small video so i'll play a simple video to understand the uh, startup the link is not working out I'll just try by copy paste Dear 
founder and here with a very important news for a startup this would change the mainstream startup ecosystem in india i am bala nadar founder of startupala.com before we move on i'm going to show you that this is not just to give you information Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, audio audible ayala, ma'am, video. Oh, audio. Video play akut. Ah, uh, audio, audio adjust panenga, ma'am. It's not audible. Video only playing, ma'am. Oh, that's all, ma'am. Maximum voice ayala given. Sorry, private funding is, is it okay, ma'am? No. Startups are stopping. No. Okay, ma'am. Now it is okay, ma'am. It's okay, ma'am. Now. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am.
company should not be registered for more than 10 years. It means our incorporation rate. Most of the entrepreneurs think that we cannot apply for Startup India regulation if we have not started doing business of one and India. Corporate advisors, education industry, I want to give you the most important benefits of SE.
students uh, so i hope uh, so you can understand what is startup and uh, what are all the things involved in the uh, uh, startup isn't it so this is what the startup india registration site so you can note down this site so from the video so what you can understand so from the video we can understand that uh, why uh, uh, ip is important to startups so okay for uh, protect your idea upon which the startup is founded so based upon uh, the discussion till now and the video played so we can understand so why we have to maintain so what is the competitive advantages so for protect your uh, time and money for generating the revenue for defend your company to protect your brand and logo for attract investors so for that we how to uh, file the ip and we have to give the important for uh, uh, ip for the startups so from the video what you can understand say for example can i ask a simple question uh, that uh, so if you start a, a supermarket so whether we can call it as a, a startup so students any of you can you answer so if you start a supermarket whether it is a startup so you can even you can type it in the chat box so what's the difference between normal business and the startup so if you want to say it's a startup you have to have a novel type of thing so okay some novelty should be there it should be distinguished from the existing thing say for example if we do the uh, online trading or uh, e commercialization so whether we can call it a startup it may be a startup if you implement some novel things so okay, if you do the novel kind of business then we can call it a startup so from the video you can understand that what are all the procedures you have to do so okay even if you find out a single product patented then you can start a startup and you can succeed in your life so okay so okay all the very best with this i'll uh, stop presenting so thank you thank you all uh, for your patience listening can you for clarification thank you ma'am okay ma'am uh, i thank dr g putle bai for uh, sharing her uh, valuable experience and views on intellectual property rights and intellectual property management for startup i hope our students got an idea what is ipr and how to apply for patent madam also have shared what are all the uh, links where they have to get the idea about the startup and various uh, process how to apply for the patent thank you very much for sharing your uh, i views on ipr ma'am um, i thank, thank you ma'am thank you ma'am uh, i thank uh, dr butli bai ma'am for uh, giving the wonderful session i would like to thank uh, dr k ranganathan ac sec trip double ic innovation activity coordinator and uh, mr t satish kumar sec trip double ic coordinator uh, for making this uh, valuable session for uh, benefit of our students thank you ma'am thank you very much uh, um, thank you for uh, sharing your views ma'am thank you all thank you, i would like to thank, thank you. i thank all the participants for uh, joining the session thank you thank you ma'am Mom, uh, have you taken any uh, uh, grid view of photos? Yeah, mom? yes, ma'am. I will share you, ma'am. I will share in WhatsApp, okay. ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Thank Shall you. Shall we wind up, ma'am? Shall we wind up, ma'am? Yeah, we can wind up, wind up, wind up, ma'am. Thank I'll you. I'll send you in WhatsApp, ma'am. Thank you. Ma thank you, so thank you so okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.